Two suspected IPOP kingpin arrested over reverse killings. Nisun Wiki revealed. Two members of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra IPOP allegedly involved in the killings mm -hmm. of six soldiers and four policemen in Obibo local government area in River State have been arrested. Governor Nisun Wiki, who stated this, said the curfew imposed on the council, which has been relaxed, helped to reduce tension between the Igbo and the Hausa community in the area. Special Assistant on Media to the Governor, Kelvin Ibiri, said Wiki spoke when Rotary District 9141 Governor Mrs. Virginia Major led a delegation of Rotarians to visit him. The suspects, according to the governor, were arrested on Monday evening. He said, if we did not take the step we took by imposing curfew in Obibo, today it would have been the Hausa and Igbos that would have been fighting and nobody knows what level it would have taken today. The governor said, though he had a frosty relationship with the army, and police. He would never tolerate the killing of any soldier or policeman in the state. I will not support criminality. I won't because the soldiers don't like me. Then you go and kill them. And then I will come out and clap. Thank you for killing the soldiers. Thank you for killing the police, he said. He urged those spreading force falsehood that Igbo people were being killed and punished in Obibo to be dispassionate in the face of deliberate act of criminality. The River State Security Council has relaxed the 24 hours curfew imposed on Obibo. Commissioner of Information and Communication, Polinus Nserim, who spoke at the government house, but the court said, the State Security Council met today, yesterday, and reviewed the situation in Obibo and has therefore decided to review the curfew. From Wednesday to the, the curfew will be from 7 p.m. to 6 p.m. until further notice. And Serum said 50 AK-47 rifles were carted away during the crisis. He urged residents to cooperate with security agencies as the search for the missing rifles. Founder of the movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra, Masov Chief Raf Waziruke, faulted those blaming Wiki for the military operation in Obibo. According to him, the development in Obibo was a direct consequence of the utterance of IPOP leader Mazi Nabdekanu. He said in an interview monitored on YouTube, Nissan Wiki is not killing any Igbo man. It is not an Igbo thing. Nissan Wiki cannot command the army to kill anybody in River State. It is only the commander in chief that can do so as our passenger did. It is not within the powers of Wiki to stop the army from killing those who killed their own. Wiki didn't order the army in Odi and Zaki Ibiam. So these people who go about on the internet talking rubbish and claiming that Wiki is killing Igbo should stop speaking for us. The army is after those who kill their own. The Onesi Youth Council Worldwide OYC blamed Wiki and Kano for the Obibo violence. In a statement by its President General Okechuku Isiguzoro and Secretary General Oku Nabuike, the group said, Despite the hijack of answers in several states, none invited the military. None of the governors of these states ordered military action against the people. Wiki as chief security officer will surely account for the loss of lives and brutality in Obibo in the near future as international human rights group and activists are gathering information and evidence of genocidal violence escalating the Obibo. The group said, Thank you for listening to this news.
You see, I will not blame Wazuriki. He is speaking out of jealousy. You can see, you can, you can sense his statement. The jealousy is seriously in his words, in his statements. You can see it was very much specific that it was eye pop. You can see he was specific and he hit the nail. If not that he is against eye pop, why, why, why did he now put all the blame on eye pop? See, I want I want the peer friends to understand something that Wazuriki is bent to go extra mile to make sure that he get back his radio Biafra back from Nandi Kanu. But he never knew something that Nandi Kanu is not presenting himself as the CEO of Radio Biafra. Nandi Kanu is not interested in any juicy position or any position as the governor or president or director general of Radio Biafra. It is the Biafrans that are that are that are that are seeing him as that. Do you understand? So Uazurike, Uazurike should just go and have a seat and stop talking. And stop talking. Because it is a disappointment. It's a disappointment and a disgrace that they denied him of Rudy Biafra is because of his laxity. His laxity and incapability to, to carry Biafra on. See, imagine I'm the canoe. Eh? See, I'm the canoe. The moment he took it up from Oazuriki, see the level Biafra is now. See the level Biafra is today. What can one say about it? Hmm? Nobody that will see Biafra today and will not be happy. Look at now, Biafra is everywhere, courtesy of Nandekan. And that is what is paining Wazurike. That's why he's so jealous. As you continue. I will see where this jealous, jealousy will take him to. He has never for once said anything good about Nandikan. All he has been doing is to support the support those that are against Nandikan. Yes. That's what he has been doing. Hmm. I laugh. I laugh because he, he he doesn't know he doesn't even know what he's doing. Well, that is his own problem. Nobody is asking him questions. So, my viewers, please, what is your take on this news? Deem it fit to leave your comments below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.